my dearest auntie. I am blinded with tears while writing this letter. I have no wish to live another hour. My bitterest enemy would pity me could he now read my heart. But let my duty be done. You know I love Virginia passionately, devotedly. I cannot express in words the fervent devotion I feel toward my dear little cousin, my own darling. But what can I say? Oh, Muddy, you sound so lonely and sad. Perhaps we should stay in Baltimore? You have both tender hearts. We will always have the reflection that my agony is more than I can bear. That you have driven me to the grave, for love like mine can never be gotten over. It is useless to disguise the truth that when Virginia goes with Milton, I shall never behold her again. Pity me, my dear auntie. I have no one now to fly to. My wretched kiss is more than I can bear. And goodness, he is in a bad way to be sure. His letter worries me. I have procured a sweet little house, newly done up with a large garden and every convenience, at only five dollars per month. I have been dreaming every day and night about the pride I would take in making me both comfortable and in me calling her my wife. But the dream is over. God, have mercy on me. What have I to live for among strangers with not one soul to love me? Oh, let us read the rest of this later. It's upsetting you. I would like to read it now, please. <clears throat> Ask Virginia, leave it to her. Let me have, under her own hand, a letter bidding me goodbye forever. And I may die. My heart will break, but I will sing no more. Poor Virginia, my love, my own sweetest sissy, my darling little wife. Think well before you break the heart of your cousin Eddie. No, I could never break his heart. Never ever, Muddy. Dearest auntie, consider my happiness while you are thinking about your own. Write immediately. I shall be all anxiety and dread until I hear from you. Try and convince my dear Virginia how devoted I love her. 